Hi, if you're wondering what I'm doing in front of this burning furnace, I'm at Public Glass San Francisco with Bryn and we are going to find out something about glass blowing techniques today. Bryn, tell us what you're going to teach us. I'm going to teach you how to make a glass paperweight. Learn how to sculpt molten glass and turn it into a work of art. It's, that sounds really tough, is that so? It's a completely different set of skills than anything you've ever done before, but we help a lot of people do this for the very first time and everyone gets to take home a little work of art. Oh, and what's that? What work of art? We're going to make a glass paperweight. Ah, I've always wanted a glass paperweight <laughs> that I'd made myself. People will be very impressed. <laughs> and so let me ask you this, does it require some kind of special skill set? It doesn't require any special skills that we can't teach you today. Ah. I'm on. Great. So this place right here is called pipe warmer, mm -hmm. and it heats up these metal rods, which are called punty scores, because glass will only stick to other hot things. Mm -hmm. Preheat them before we gather our first little bit of glass. So, there's an important body position involved in glass blowing. You're going to always stand on the left hand side of the pipe, hand palm up in the front, mm -hmm. palm down in the back, and you're okay. always turning because glass is incredibly affected by gravity, so you have to turn the whole time. It's probably the hardest part to get used to. Yeah. So, put your hand behind mine, your other hand there, okay. and practice turning. Relax your arms a little bit. Look like a glass blower. <laughs> <laughs> I like the sound of that. <laughs> In ten minutes of training with Bryn. <laughs> <laughs> we'll head on over to the furnace now. Okay. I'm gonna come around you here. This is our furnace. This okay. is where we keep all of the molten glass that we use. There's about six hundred pounds of glass in there and it sits about twenty one hundred degrees. Huh. A little toasty. Ah, I bet so. <laughs> I wouldn't want to be there. Yeah. So I'm going to demonstrate gathering. Come back level, slide your hand forward, and come out. And that's all the glass you need for your first coat. Okay. We're going to go from the furnace to the pipe cooler. We use this to cool off the surface of the metal so that we're not burning our hands as we hold the pipe. You can see by the steam that it heats up just a little. <laughs> you ready to try it yourself? Yes. All right. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm going to help you out. I'll put on that protective glove. It's made out of Kevlar okay. and help support your pipe while you're in there and you're getting your glass. Okay. All right. Exactly. Yeah. So you'll set it on the ledge, you'll push forward while turning at about a 35 degree angle, wrap some glass onto the pipe, then come back level, keep turning, and then slide your hand forward, lift and come out. I'll be protecting you from the heat. Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Turn. Keep going. Great. Okay. Keep going. There we go. Turn, turn, turn. Level. Okay, slide your hand forward, we'll lift, keep turning. There we go. You did it. But I can say honestly that I've come out unscathed. Yes, we haven't lost a student yet. <laughs> so pull toward you and we'll pull off the pipe. Keep turning. So you can see as you stop turning, the glass flows toward the ground. Yeah. That's what happens. Yeah, exactly. Gravity can be our best friend and our worst enemy in here. Okay, so I'm going to take this from you. Other hand forward. We're going to come out and lift. Okay. Lift up. Oh, yeah. We're going to head over there. Now the one that looks like it has polka dots on it goes in the purple. The other one goes on the other side. Yeah, so just flip it over and set it in. Yeah. 
And then set it in the blue. Great. Okay, and we'll go back. It does, absolutely. So we'll go into the heat here and melt it in. Yep, so set it down. Yep, and that'll guide you in. Hot, hot, hot. And it's changing shape as we speak. Glass wants to be round. So as we heat it up, the particles will melt together and it turn it back into a round object if we just heat and turn evenly. I would not have known that. The glass will round up as we heat it again. Huh. Yep. So we're gonna wiggle the tweezers back and forth because they get stuck. Remember how I said glass only sticks to other hot things? Yes. Well, metal heats up. <laughs> so we gotta cool it down. Here? Yep, and you just hold still. <laughs> <laughs> That's like a slippery eel. <laughs> okay, so your tweezers are getting hot, so we want to come off, and you'll dip them in the water. Great. Nice job. We're going to take these shears. Okay. Just going to cut just like scissors. The wider you open them, the bigger the cut. So you can make tiny little cuts, and you can make very large cuts. What the, I see you have a definite shape going there. What that is. I do, and what that's going to do is when we cover this in clear glass, those thin points will actually flow into the molten hot glass and create wisps that look kind of like smoke. I can only imagine. You'll get to see it. You really can. It'll be beautiful. <laughs> the more misshapen it is, the more interesting it will be on the inside. Okay. So our next step is going to be to put a layer of clear glass around the outside and encase it so that it magnifies and protects that pointy little shape you made for the interior. After this is coat this beautiful masterpiece you've made in molten clear glass which will magnify it and enhance all of the little cuts and swirls. Okay. Looks like a shape an object to me right now. When we're done it'll be a beautiful smooth paperweight. I'll have to take your word for it. <laughs> And if you'll notice, that interior portion that you made is staying exactly where you put it. Because it's nice and cool and the outside is very, very hot. And if you take a look, you can see all of these bubbles trapped in the depressions that you made. It's just going to add another special touch to your creation. What we're going to do is use this tool called a block. Okay. And this is exactly the shape we're going for. So what we're going to do is just roll the glass in there. Yeah. and help create a smooth shape. Um, you can see it's already much more even. Yep. So we have to dip it in water in between each usage because these are made out of wood and wood obviously burns. When we're using it correctly, the glass is riding on a layer of steam. If we use it too long, it will burn. You 
see it's much more even now. Yes, I see we cheated here a little bit, but we got that smooth finish. We are using the tools we've got, right? So I'm going to heat this up and you can sit down and do the next blocking session. It always takes multiple rounds to make this work. I'm going to hold this up here. You use this wooden stick to wrap on the pipe and it'll come right off. Ooh, there we go. Yes! Somebody clipped it. Did it! <laughs> <laughs> Look at that baby! Now what I'm going to do is torch this. While I torch it, it's going to start to round up. Because we've got a sharp point on the bottom and we don't want a dangerous paper weight. Go ahead and grab this tool here. And when I say so, you're going to squish straight down to create a nice flat spot on the bottom of that paper weight. Okay. Yes. Okay, give it all you got. Here I go, squish, squish. So you gonna push straight down. <laughs> there we go. You beat it into submission now. Oh. <laughs> so now Ooh. we have a beautiful paperweight. We do. We have to do something called annealing because glass doesn't like to change temperature quickly. Mm. So we put it in a box that it's at 900 degrees. It will slowly come back down to room temperature over the course of about 12 hours. Can't have your lovely paperweight until tomorrow. Aww. This glass blowing experience was so addictive. That's why we're all here. I know I'm going to be coming back for a workshop. I hope so. Oh, try and keep me away. <laughs> we wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> I want to make the next big creation here, right here at Public Glass. I bet you can do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the vote of confidence, Wayne. No problem. <laughs>